This morning on The Blend, we're joined by Becca Boving, who is with Orthopedic Rehab Specialist Physical Therapy. You are a pelvic health clinician. When we talk about pelvic health, tell us a little bit more about it and, and what does it mean for people who are experiencing pelvic pain issues? Yeah, so pelvic health is a very broad spectrum. Um, it ranges from pregnancy, pre-pregnancy, postpartum, um, all the way on throughout adulthood. Uh, it can range from just preparing to deliver a baby um, and then recovering from delivering a baby, um, those leaking, uh, the prolapse that you can have that can happen from different surgeries or um, childbearing years. Um, it can be pelvic pain, hip pain, back pain, pain with intercourse. There's just such a broad spectrum of things that we treat within the clinic, um, so. And I think people are embarrassed to talk about it or feel yes. like it's not polite conversation, but it's real, it's the human body, we all walk around in them, yes. and the be better care we can take of it, the better our life quality is going to be as we move through our lives. Yes. Talk about Kegels for people who might not be familiar with them. So I actually don't even use the word Kegels within, our, within my sessions with okay. patients. I feel like about 90% of the women who come in don't know how to perform a Kegel. Okay. <laughs> so we use pelvic floor contraction and we um, have to like verbally cue them a lot of times on how to do so and it's it's amazing at how many people just don't know because when you think of pelvic floor or physical therapy you think of oh just do kegels but a lot of times if you're having pain and things like that too doing kegels is actually not what you want to do it's it's opposite okay so seeing a specialist and finding out what's wrong with you specifically can be really helpful in guiding you to make sure you're doing something correctly or doing the appropriate um, treatment for yourself Tell me about myths and misunderstandings when it comes to pelvic health. Yeah, so a lot of times people think that like leaking when you cough and sneeze and things is just normal and it's just part of like what happens as we get older, um, but it's not and there's treatments we can do for it. Um, a lot of times they think that it's just surgery or medication um, that can treat their problems instead of going to pelvic floor physical therapy. Um, and then some people just think it's for if you've had a baby or because you're pregnant or postpartum, but there's a broad range of people who haven't had children um, who also benefit from pelvic floor physical therapy. Do you feel that people are, are hesitant to even seek therapy because they're embarrassed or? Yes, absolutely. It's such an intimate um, treatment and it's it can be awkward and uncomfortable, um, but our, our job is to make you feel comfortable and to address your concerns and talk about how common it is and um, that we can help you with that. We're going to make it easy. We're going to put your information on the screen. Orthopedic Rehab Specialist Physical Therapy and you can go to ORSMI.com for more information or the numbers on the screen. Becca, thank you so much. Thank you.